Every day, he does something even funnier than he did the day before. What are you doing there, tippy toes? He loves to get on the kitchen table. Crawled in the washing machine. Anything he could get on, he would eat it and just destroy it. I wonder who did that. That was a little bit more than we expected. He was so full of energy right away. You're so sweet when you're tired and you're not biting. He just wanted to be near us and he wanted to be on us and wanted to play. It was overwhelming. <laughs> he has to be spoon fed. And he'll bark at me to do stuff. Does that mean you want toast? <laughs> He's a crazy dog, we know. Drop it. No, you're not going outside. But he loves you so much. He's a kind, gentle dog. You can't even be trusted to go out for a wee, can you? You just let yourself down. His favourite game on earth is to just steal anything because he loves you to chase him. And it's the funnest game Paddy can think of. Paddy! Please give me Auntie Pearl's bag. Any attention he can get, good or bad, he just wants it. And most people let him off because they find him so funny. But even as a puppy, he was very boisterous. Magic pads! Magic! Good boy! Wow, good boy. Wow, wow, wow. When we brought Paddy home, it was a bit difficult the first few nights because he's half golden retriever and half Labrador. I think the Labrador in him gives him that bit of an edge, like more of his sassy side. And I quickly realised I can't leave anything around. Like, I literally, nothing was safe. Paddy, this has gone wrong. This has gone wrong. We have this plant pot at my parents' house and he thinks that plant pot was made for him, basically. So he will literally dig it until he can sit. So he then starts to combine the two. He would steal like a shoe or a welly, a magazine, or anything he could get. And then he'd retreat to his plant pot with the stolen object and just wait. Even though he's so energetic and confident, the plant pot is like his chill and happy place, which is a nice contrast to the other side of his personality. One day, he was staying at the door. Would not move. And we're like, what's wrong with him? So we go and open the door, and there was a bag, and he was just attacked it. We kept on doing it and doing it and doing it. And he knows when there's a package there. And he'll sit there and whine and whine. And then when we look out the door and look, sure enough, there's a package. Teddy doesn't bite shoes. He doesn't bite wires. He doesn't bite anything else. He just bites packages. I think his senses of smelling an outsider because if it's our scent on him, he won't bite. But attacking packages, it's just his entertainment. Teddy is very loving. He loves to cuddle. He's hyper, he's happy. He loves all the attention. And now we have Teddy for three years. 
And if you spend a day with Teddy, you would see that he has a better life than us. He hasn't grown up yet. And I don't know when he will. It's time to watch more.